I say this as someone who used supplemental testosterone for eight years and then used natural techniques to raise my testosterone levels to where they are now in my early 40s. The fourth biohack, it's about sleep. The fourth biohack, it's about sleep. And see if when you wake up, you feel like a great golden god because that's how you're supposed to feel when you wake up. Did biohacking testosterone in his 20s and 30s ultimately make Dave Asprey turn effeminate by middle age? Mm. Let's find out. First of all, I'm not turning up to make fun of Dave because the important lesson is whether or not you can expect similar results if you follow in his footsteps by hacking your testosterone and eating more butter. <laughs> Remember y'all, a big component of Dave Asprey's diet and lifestyle advice is eating a high fat diet. In general, Dave does not advocate a high protein diet and definitely steers people away from most carbohydrates and starches, favoring the fatty foods instead with occasional carb cycling. Behind this approach, we find the promise of good hormonal health and healthy testosterone levels. Everyone can do this and everyone should do this and it'll affect a lot more than just your testosterone. Eat plenty of the right kinds of fat and eat some cholesterol. Allow undamaged cholesterol into your system because it's a building block for all of your hormones, including testosterone. You make testosterone by taking cholesterol, turning it into pregnenolone, which goes to androstenedione and then testosterone. That's a pretty much short way of saying fat and cholesterol, testosterone. I want y'all to see this progression because Dave has been pretty open about accumulating what is likely more than a decade of steroid use. So this guy knows a thing or two about testosterone and gives advice about biohacking your body to optimize hormonal function. I say this as someone who used supplemental testosterone for eight years and then used natural techniques to raise my testosterone levels to where they are now in my early 40s or they weren't in my early 20s. Okay, this brings us to the present. It looks like something's going on with Dave. His camera presence has more of an effeminate vibe. I'm not hating, I'm just observing that something has changed. Take a look at this and see if you agree. Hey, I'm Dave Asprey, New York Times bestselling science author, founder of Bulletproof and creator of Bulletproof Coffee, host of Bulletproof Radio, and father of biohacking. Biohacking is a new word in the English language added actually in 2018 to Merriam-Webster's and believe it or not, I'm in the definition. So I started wondering if maybe it has something to do with all that naturally occurring estrogen found in dairy products. After all, grass-fed butter is one of the cornerstones of the Bulletproof diet. Butter has one of the highest concentrations of bovine estrogens. Luckily, the Journal of Dairy Science has research dating back to the 1970s confirming the safety of dairy products and assuring us that the quantity of active estrogens in dairy products is too low to demonstrate biological activity. But if we take a second look at Dave, we can tell that something is definitely up and it's not his testosterone levels. The fourth biohack, it's about sleep. The fourth biohack, it's about sleep. And see if when you wake up, you feel like a great golden god, because that's how you're supposed to feel when you wake up. Pretty much everybody in the comments section has noticed that something out of the ordinary is going on with Dave. A lot of people are saying he looks older. A lot of people are saying he looks sick. A lot of people are saying he looks effeminate. But if it's not the estrogens in butter, then how could biohacking be responsible for his appearance? Well, it turns out Dave published a book, copying the name Game Changers, where he presents strategies for biohacking using psychedelic and psychotropic drugs like LSD. If you want to do that, that's your choice. Just keep in mind, these types of substances might affect your personality or how people in the real world perceive you. If you want to avoid that feminine, dairy fairy vibe, I recommend you hit that subscribe button because this is Red Pill Vegan. That's right, Red Pill and Vegan. Cue the triggered comments. You can learn a lot from Dave Asprey. But, like everybody else, 
He has some blind spots you might not want to incorporate in your diet and lifestyle. I've set up a playlist with more in-depth videos on Dave Asprey, and I want you to see this confrontation on steroid use between him and the creator of What the Health, Kip Anderson. So click the playlist at the end of this video and check that out. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan. Next.